Hello and welcome to Game by Blue Wizards Digital. Digital, known as Space Tyrant. So this game's actually going to be releasing on uh, Wednesday the 19th, I believe. I actually got it early, so yeah. I thought I'd have a look at this. Also, when I went and put the code in, it called me Press. I was like, yay! I'm now being seen as Press, I guess. Anyway, so galactic chaos comes very easily to a Space Tyrant. Warpy minds inciting petty war, such schemes never fail to amuse, even in a life as long as this. Interrupting this blissful reverie, an Astonian ambassador bursts through with a list of absurd demands. Stop meddling in this vast still empires, respect the galactic order, pay your space parking tickets! The sharp blast of my disintegrator cut his blistering, spree uh, blistering speech mid-sentence. Such insolence cannot go unpunished. Clearly the time has come to crush the Astron Imperium. Casting my mind across the stars of the Hoblite clans, I quickly found the leader who chafed with Astron Law. Chaffed at Astron Law. Full of resentment, hate, and apparently on steroids. He may be the only tool to shatter the Imperium. How to Tyrant. Okay. But yeah, apparently this uh, is done quite quickly, so I don't know how quick this, how long this will take. Galaxy come and go, but a tyrant always remains. The Tomes of Tyranny, Book One, Chapter One. Okay. Goals is to explore. Oh, it's an actual story. Okay, that's actually cool. No one truly understands the righteousness of a tyrant's rule. Ah, uh, plan your missions carefully, getting a reward you will never use. It's dangerous and wasteful. Sometimes you just have to nuke them from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. So yeah, I've never actually played this, but apparently it's a uh, roguelike, pretty much. A kind of a uh, semi-roguelike, uh, TBS, turn-based strategy. So yeah, let's carry on, shall we? I don't know much about it, I went and looked at the tutorials, that's about it. So I only know how to move, I don't actually know what to do. Asteroid, as cold and lonely as space itself, asteroids have no value beyond their location. Bzzzt! Embarrassing stone hair. Okay, apparently they fire their weapon. By default, I don't actually know what ship I've got to generate. Okay. Fire an additional volley. Ah, okay. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Right, and this is Meteor Strike. Smash an enemy ship with an asteroid. Right, okay. We've got considerably more forces than they do. Also, I don't know if the volume detection played. I'll fix that afterwards. Uh, you have volley as well, but you do less damage. Can I get you to regenerate this guy? No. Ah. Please don't space me! Nothing tops the Megaton Punch. <laughs> Okay, uh, so is this being invaded or do I still need to actually invade it? Mm. Invasion dices are used to defeat planet defenses. Okay, so I don't think we've actually defeated the defense. Excuse me, sorry. Don't think we've defeated the defense yet. Actually, no, we must have, because that's what we just got money for. Uh, can we actually see what these are? Nope. I pity the fool that fights me. Uh, I kind of like the music. Okay, I will need your. Oh, right, need your straight just pop in general. Uh, please don't die. Inspire. Okay. Okay. 
Silly, we should know that place. I'll hail our new overlords. Yay, Stone Air Hair is now level 2. <laughs> oh, fleet size has increased to 10 ships. Excellent. Hmm. We've only got one invasion dice, that's the only issue I have for this, but. Uh, sort it, I guess. Hoblite clans issue a statement. Your weakness sickens me. As even. Really? Oh, we won, though. Oh, okay, so the zero was actually the defense. Among the strange and varied experiments in the station, you come across a grotesque predator locked in a cage. What will you do with it? Take it as a pet. Yes. The predator grudgingly accepts its collar, and you bring it aboard your ship. Its presence by your side will surely be of value to you in the future. You treat pet. Ah, uh, the treats influence which explorer events are generated and unlocked via the uh, event options. Okay. But what does pet actually give? Ah, uh, uh, click to jump to commander. Uh, no, that's just the help menu. That's just the option. Okay, well, I guess we'll just continue. At least I can reinforce your fleet. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, one minute. Can I actually build any more ships? How do we build ships? Income? Uh, planets control, produce credits, research, and crystals is each turn. Credits are used to buy ships from the shipyard. Okay, we don't actually have a shipyard. Right, cool. Let's see what you got! We will never be defeated. <laughs> oh. I, I actually do like the music. The music too. I don't know why, it's just like a 60 play from it, I guess? No. No. Okay, we survived. <laughs> Your weakness offends me. I'll hail our new overlords. Okay, they have one defense. Oh, oh, okay. So they can't actually straight back. We have one defense, and we use that to try and attack their. Ah, uh, we use this dice to attack their defense. Basically, is thing, can we? I think that's the way it's working. Returning to try a tyrant command. Our next objective is simply to expand. Shields regenerate during battle until they are knocked out. Explore the planet does not cost any movement. Tyranny 102. How to Tyrant Part 2. Accomplish the following. Capture the lava planet. Oh, hey. Okay, so we actually have a shipyard now. Our hero can't actually get anything right now, because he's not experienced enough. So, let us shuffle on, shall we? I pity the fool that fights me. Those are our space ropes. Okay, so the seems of the description we'll see. Okay, excellent, he's shooting the tank. Pretty much what we wanted. Oh, I wonder if I get more I can actually put the uh, regenerative ones up front more. Hmm. Well I'll have to look at that. We only have one invasion dice, but we're trying to get to it. Well, this is a perfect time to see if my theory is correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Right, so it is, uh, the defense number actually does correlate to how, what number you have to get above. 
<laughs> anyway, inside an abandoned factory, you find an operational uh, droid mindlessly fusing away in a sp uh, spotless interior. Fussing away at their spotless interior. What will you do with them? <laughs> Weld lasers into their heads and wire them into the defense net. Smash them up and use them for parts. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna put lasers on them. Applying the lasers, your technicians trap an attack. Ah, uh, circuit. Trip and attack circuit. The robots now have, with lasers, attacked your own troops. <laughs> Two ships to shot. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so there is a reason not to just mindlessly do that. Ooh, carrier. What's a carrier doing? Doesn't have any arm. As much armor even. Uh, boarding. Invade an enemy ship. Deflate 40% uh, of incoming fire for 15 seconds. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Uh, frigates. Destroyer. Okay, so missiles are weak versus ship. Ah, shields, blasters. So what do we have? We have two destroyers right now. Okay, well, let's get better frigates, I guess. Uh, how much armor have they got? Less. So yeah, we'll flip them around like that. And I'll do it for now. Uh, this is two defense, this is one, but what the hell is this? Only the strong will survive. I didn't get to do this. I will also say that I am dyslexic, so reading isn't exactly my strong point. Uh, you're dying. You stop dying, squirrel. Ah, right, so they only get to use their ability every so often. Um, okay. Cool, cool. I got it now. Our slaves should know their place. No one is irreplaceable. Excellent. Crystal bird. Regalian blood fever, the most feared plague in the universe, has broken out. The population is terrified as the infection run rampant. Weaponize it. Advanced bio warfare labs are successful in weaponizing the virus. You can now de be deployed in your command. The plague book. Reduce the planet's defense by 50%. Excellent! I mean, oh no, that's that's terrible. Who would, who would ever want to do that? <laughs> also, let's buff out this fleet of touch. I didn't even notice we had a second fleet. But now that I do, um, let's get ourselves a frigate and put it there for now. Uh, we're making 50 a turn, so we can get a uh, thingy next turn. Oh, I can mouse over? No, one minute. It worked, it worked for a second there. And Ragey's friendly ships. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of ships. It looks like it's just the EBRG's one, so... So... Oh, right, so it's only one... Turn? Ah, uh, what's this? Hoblite clans, plant militia, uh, crystals power cars, they regenerate every turn. Ah, right, and they cost three. Right, cool, cool. I'm getting up. I'm liking this so far. Ooh. Plus four research. 
Well, I guess not. Why not? Because it's three cards that we need anyway, in general. Um, we'll buy ourselves a destroyer. Uh, I think it's literally only one turn we get. Possibly. Unless I just got him last turn, that, that's a possibility. Tonight we dial in space hell! We dial- Did I say Dell? I meant to say Dane. Come on. Okay, so it does seem to be the ships in front get the uh, blows first. So if we ever do get lined of three, I'll be putting the regenerators up front. Slaves should know that place. But he's down space me! Militia is now level two. Our fleet size has increased uh, ten ships. Really? Is that ten ships? Oh, it is! It's ten slots wide. Okay. Or, um, big I should say, not wide. Sure, why not? Okay, so you do have an action still. Uh, let's invade this plant though for now. Two damage. And does that hang over to the next round? It seems to, but does it regenerate is my question. Oh? Allow spent fleet to move again. Oh! Oh, that's useful. Uh, anyway, shipyard, we'll get ourselves a... Nope, not cruiser. Destroyer, place it there. Same fleet composition as the other one, but alas. It is working, after all. I pity the fool that fights me. These are our space rocks. I don't know, there's just something 60s about it. Okay, come on. Smash skirmish line. Huh. The skirmish line dude. Permanent increases damage of the front row. Row. Well. Yeah. You didn't have a front row at that point. Uh, well, for now, let's just invade. I'm curious, fleet commanders deep in their labour camps planning process. Ah, uh, results four. Excellent. <coughs> in the distant cell block, you find a renowned bounty hunter locked away. He begs for his freedom. Will you grant it? I'm going to employ you as a hitman. The bounty hunter happily sets to work, hounding the enemies of the Empire. All of your plans proceed more easily. Hmm. Gain one tech at a random level. Um, well, I might as well play it. You disregard all safety and ethical standards. You're mad scientists deliver a new tech. Wait, bees. Hmm. Cool. I can't make my way back, unfortunately. But this fleet's still to go, so... Let's see what you've got. Oh, hi there. Slug trigger. I may want to save up and get a geo shield and think with him, because he's taking a bounty. I'd rather not lose any, honestly. Excellent. 
Your weakness offends me. I have regrets! Yeah, I don't need to. Oh well. What can you do? Oh, hey. Fast missile racks or boarding party too. Cheaper, faster, and more dangerous space marines. Rapid reloading allows for more shots. Plus three per volley. Plus three for per volley is tempting, actually. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's upgrade that thing. I'll send this food back and then. Well, we'll get some. Fuck you, so these guys are not. Nope. Because we've not captured us, I just remembered. Right. Cool. Ooh. Also, excuse me, that was a weird noise. That's because I was just. See. Ah! Ha! That's a lot of money. Ah, uh, shipyard. Let us get ourselves a carrier, shall we? And on top of that, here are all these frigates. I'm gonna do that. Just so it's a bit more symmetrical. Because symmetry! I need cemetery, I guess, maybe. Let's see what you've got. Okay, yeah, I am actually enjoying this. This is this is good. We'll have to see how the game actually evolves over time though, because this is rather simple right now and I imagine it's not going to be a Oh, Meteor Strike. Right, it's not the same shit. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so remembering the abilities of my people are going to be the slight difficult part for me. Excellent. A high noble of this world takes great offence at, at an offhand remark. To preserve their honor, they challenge you to a personal duel. Yeah, in the pain booth. The screams of the nobles serve as a warning to the others. You will not likely be challenged again. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah, possibly not then. I'll just shuffle on. Yeah, I'll just shuffle on with this fleet then. When needs power, you have numbers, maybe. Okay, this will be a mildly hard fight. Ow! Ow! Stop shooting the back lane. <laughs> Splat! Okay, that's fine. It's fire! Ah, oh, shit, I accidentally clicked. That's a slight issue. Right, we, you need to have a bit more time between things stuff, if that makes sense. Like, your ability... When the end screen comes up, it has to hold for a like, half a second or so. A bit longer, just so I don't end up accidentally skipping through it. But that's just my opinion. There's probably people who actually prefer that, but alas. And theoretically, that's the end of that. You've proven yourself ready for a real challenge. Returning to Tyrant Command. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I don't actually have an option, it seems. The Berserk Union. Oh, okay. 
or the Techno Slug Party, but right now we only have the Hobbit Destiny. As cold and hard as the rocks from which the ships are made, Hoblites exceed at both space and the ground combats. Excel even. Right, so I'm assuming this will be uh, the mixed faction. This will be production faction, I'm guessing? And this will be research. That's my guess along these lines, but we'll have to wait and see. Alas, we only have one party to choose. Your invasion begins now. Oh, oh, okay. Galaxies come and go, but a tyrant always remains. Available commanders. Okay. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and we'll look into this then. So, see you there.